Hi from my platform Linda's TV show. If it is your first time, you are welcome. Please, after watching this video, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications. It is very, very important because it will enable you to know when I upload a new video. Here we upload videos on daily basis as it is happening. We are bringing it live and direct, undirected to you. After watching, you are free to criticize. You are free to say your opinion, but let us say it constructively myself linda will be standing here watching this video together with you from the beginning to the end then we'll go to the comment section i appreciate you all my loving subscribers followers those who comment and share this video as we watch the video right now look at this picture of mazen and Kano. Does he look like a person where they well? Look at this person. Look at his eyes. This man don't know their well. Look at his eyes very well. What? I don't need picture of Mazen and Kano. What I need, release Mazen and Kano. Present Mohamed Buhale. God have gave order to release him. Release him. I don't need picture. Nani Kano, look at his eyes well, well. Look at the eyes of Mazen and Kano. Look at his picture. Look at his face. Look at his face. No, what, what in this man they pass? Only this picture with past message will tell you that this man is not feeling fine. Only this picture will show you that this man is so happy. Only this picture will tell you that this man is dying inside. Only this picture will show you that this man is crying. Is this man is in solo? This man is living in pain. And you people snap pictures, choose this one. Because all the pictures that you people snap from us and Nankano, not only this one we want to choose because this one look better. This one they smart, small for the eyes. But look at the picture of us and Nankano. This man is dying. This man is so unhappy. When you look when you look to the picture, this picture will pass a message. When you look to the face of us and Nankano, you will see that this man is crying in his heart. Even the time where they snap this picture, Mas and Nankano, as soon as Mas and Nankano stand in that place. When I step on that picture, Mazen and Kano, they cry into his heart. Because he have no way to want to use and do. Make a kind picture, show the people. He's, she, make, make a kind picture, show the people that he's living fine. Where he's dying inside. He knows everything, but he, don't, he cannot do anything. He stands up, you people, they step on picture. They cry in his heart. Release Mazen and Kano, President Mohamed Buhale. Obey the court order. Release Mazen and Kalo, I stand as a prophet to warn you again. Release Mazen and Kalo, when you look to this picture, you will know that this man is not feeling fine. I could remember waiting in brothers the talk, even in lawyer, that sometimes they're not going to give him food. Sometimes they're not going to give him drug. Sometimes they will not take care of him. Now they're, now, now they're blending us picture. What do you want to this picture do? We not need picture. What we need is Mazen and Kalo. What you need, Mazen and Kano? Somebody well, I know they treat well. Somebody well, I know they give food. Somebody well, I know they treat well. When they send up and picture, they sent us. What if, what if, what if we go carry this picture? Do Buhali obey court order. There is Mazen and Kano. A, a, a tree cannot make a forest. When court will give order, you refuse. You think I have authority? I told you before that this authority you have in few months to come. You will look for this authority, you will not see it anymore. You will stand up to speak a word, nobody will hear you in Nigeria again. This authority will come out from your hand a few months right now. And you will stand up to talk, nobody will hear you, because that power has come out. God have gave order that they should leave this old Nyla note and President Mohamed Buhale refuse because of his thought that he have power. When Akali he come out to snap and picture, as I stop and picture, the man they cry in his heart. The man they cry in his heart. After on a snap and picture. On a choose all the picture where on a snap and choose the one where they better some more. Kaliam. And even this one where I bring out, know they better. If you look this picture, you're gonna say this man know they well. You're gonna say this man know they well. When I no one send this man outside country for him to treat himself. But you pro teachers, if you people they're sick now, when I go travel outside country to treat on herself. When I know say Mazen and Kali is greater than you people. When I leave him for Nigeria, he is sick. When I leave him for Nigeria. When I know one send a massacre country, send him to America to let him treat himself there. 
When I leave them. Because if you're not sick, you go travel outside the country. If you're not sure they're sick, you go the same thing, you're not sure outside the country. Mazen and Kano is more than governor. He's more than a president. So you people are supposed to take him to outside the country, let him treat himself. Send him to outside the country, treat him, treat him there. Because he is a freedom fighter. A freedom fighter is greater than governor and the president. Because got some governors and some presidents will not take this kind of risk. So that is why I say that he's greater than you people. Because some of you people cannot take this kind of risk this man took. Insecurity has continued to haunt our nation. The Boko Haram militia, Fulani headsmen, bandits, and unknown gunmen have continued to unleash terror in different parts of the country. Property worth billions of Naira has been raised. Hundreds of lives have been lost in very brutal circumstances and many more have been maimed. Communities have been sacked and their inhabitants displaced on account of the activities of un un unidentified persons and some government security agents. Kidnapping for ransom is on the increase. Nowhere seems safe. Highways, homes, and even the sacred presence of worshiping centers. Some of our church personnel have been victims of abduction and arson. Our people have continued to live in a gloomy atmosphere of fear and anxiety and groan with anguished hearts. Our collapsing national economy worsens the ugly situation. While the value of the Naira continues to decline, the cost of basic communities, commodities, including food items, continues to soar, with serious effects on the lives and livelihoods of our people. On account of long persistent fuel scarcity, Nigerians spend endless hours in long queues under harsh weather conditions trying to buy fuel at exorbitant prices. The disastrous implementation of the Central Bank of Nigeria's cash flow policy, which resulted in a cash crunch, has added to the ordeal, anger, and frustration. Sir, Federal Government, sir. President Buhari, sir, I beg you on my bended knees. Release in Namdi Kanu. It is not too late in the day. Even as we are in the court, tell your Attorney General, Abubakar Malami, senior advocate of Nigeria, to use his powers under Section 174 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended, to enter a nolle prosecute for him and Kanu because all the counts have always been as dead as Dodo. Eight of them were buried by this court. The remaining seven were buried and a big stone was rolled on top of the case. And this case is not like Jesus Christ that rose up from the dead and rolled away the stone after three days. This case is dead, buried forever, forever and forever. Amen. Amen. Is that the federal government should take a cue from history because history does not forget and Google has recorded history so Google does not forget because it's a novel area of the law we went around the world to reset to cite cases authorities across the world where the same matters had cropped up exactly and they said you could not try that person that was the major case that came up today then surprisingly like Fela Ransom Kutu will say, suddenly, 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 another charge sprang up today. We actually read it in the social media over the weekend that Inna Dikano is being arraigned today again on the same old charge which the Court of Appeal has said this court, including any other court in Nigeria, is prohibited from ever trying him or on the same 
account charge. We will not serve the charge sheet. We only read it in the social media. And when I asked the prosecution today to give me a copy, they said they, they also don't have a copy here. They didn't have a copy here. So I told the court that what I would have expected would be that the prosecution should just have gotten up to withdraw that matter because it constitutes an abuse of court process that you who has appealed against a judgment that said this man cannot be charged you are the one who appealed the appeal is extant and pending it has not been decided by the supreme court the same you is rushing back again to the same court that the court of appeal said has no jurisdiction to try this matter to file the same counts charge again against him that's an abuse of court process but what the judge did today which i think was quite good was to say both the first case and the second case are adjourned to await the hearing and final determination by the apex court of the land <laughs> materials to show the circumstances under which Nabikano was possibly abducted, kidnapped, blindfolded, tortured, and then rendered back to Nigeria <coughs> extrajudicially, extra legally, against the laws of Kenya, against the laws of Nigeria, against all international instruments dealing with extradition including section various sections of the extradition act of nigeria including section 15 they violated them they brought navikanu to face a full culture that was still pending contrary and against what we call the doctrine of specialty 
which is that when you bring back a fugitive through extradition process, you can only try him for that offense for which you are extraditing that fugitive. Not area counts. And you cannot continue with an earlier case against that, that fugitive. Now, Nabikani was brought back to face the earlier existing counts, which were again amended first to seven counts, and then again amended to 15 counts. And I went to court. We went to court is Toby Shoney, who's a RISE Judiciary Editor. Both of you, thank you very much thank you. indeed. Pleasure. And um, I want to kick off with this news that broke a few hours ago. Nigeria's appeal court dropping all charges against the separatist leader Namdi Kano after ruling that he had been illegally arrested abroad. The court also ruled that his extradition had been illegal. What's your assessment of that? Yeah, thank you, Charles. I think it's a good day for Nigeria. It's a good day for rule of law. If you read the judgment, the appeal court is very clear that if you want to prosecute someone, you must follow the law. Because the essence of prosecution is to establish the law, follow the law. But bringing somebody illegally, the federal government disobey Nigerian local laws disobey international law. We have treaty with Kenya, we have with Great Britain. If they want to try Namde Khan, there are legal process they should have followed to bring him in. You don't just go and kidnap him. So, and in law we say that you cannot put something on nothing. Since the process through which he was brought into Nigeria was flawed, there is no way the trial could have continued in the first instance. So, I think the, the court deserves to be commended We've always called for rule of law, and today the Appeal Court has upheld rule of law, and uh, they sent clear signal to the government that they will not uh, allow such illegality. Hmm. I'm going to come back to that matter in a minute, but let me bring you in, Professor uh, Adeni. Thank you so much, my wonderful viewers, for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end. Like I said before, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do in this platform, as you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.